thing about taxidermy is it does combine science and art very beautifully. And, you know, I would describe it as being part butchery, part sculpture, and I suppose a bit of surgery in there too, really. For a long time, people have been displaying taxidermy in very similar ways. And in the taxidermy community, they often identify different people, different practitioners' works. But to the untrained eye, they all look the same, really. And while I do really love that work, I, what I was more interested in was doing something completely different with it. And to kind of, I think the fact is taxidermy hadn't really changed, whereas everybody else in the world around it had. And I wanted to use it more as a material, like a painter would use paint or something, and, and make sculptures from it. And really, I don't consider myself a taxidermist, actually. I do consider myself an artist. And what I was interested in doing was taking it out of that environment and putting it in a, quite an unexpected scenario, I suppose. I think that that way you, you almost look at the thing as if anew, and it's kind of like having that childlike wonder again at something. I think generally people think that you're preserving the flesh in some way, when actually you're really building a sculpture of the body and removing the skin from it. And it really, it's not so much, it's not so much pre preserving, it really is a sculpture. You're just using the feathers or the, the, the fur and the skin of the original animal. Everything else, wood, clay, glass, wire, it's a very sculptural thing.